Hey guys, I'm Hellhound, and uh, I've got some pretty tragic news to share with you. Unfortunately, if you haven't already heard, <clears throat> um, the world of heavy metal has suffered another loss. Um, and uh, I'm a little late on this, by the way. But if you, just in case you haven't already heard, I, I've been meaning to make a video about this. Um, Nick Menza, the former drummer for Megadeth, is no longer with us. Uh, he died on May 21st, so um, it's June 5th now. So yeah, as I said, I'm a little late. Um, actually, I didn't hear about it right away. Um, I didn't hear about it until somewhat recently. I've been meaning to make a video about it. Um, I just haven't got to um, yet, so um, I figured I'd make a little tribute to him. Um, he Not only was he my favorite drummer that Megadeth ever had, um, but he was also one of my favorite thrash metal drummers um, in general, uh, Nick Minza. Yeah, he was just great. Um, you know, that's two drummers that Megadeth has lost now. Gar Samuelson, who was in their first two albums, Killings of My Business and Peace Sells. He's no longer with us either. He died, like, back in the late 90s. Um, he was probably my second favorite drummer next to Nick. Um, and Nick was part of my favorite lineup that they had, you know, um, consisting of, you know, of course, Dave Mustaine on guitar and vocals. Uh, Marty Friedman, who's my favorite guitarist they ever had, uh, lead guitarist um, on, on, you know, lead guitar, obviously. And uh, David Alefson on bass and Nick Menzel on drums. Um, that was my favorite lineup. And he was on my four, uh, my four favorite Megadeth albums. Uh, well, next to Peace, along with Peace Cells. Um, you know, which of course are Rust in Peace, which is the first, uh, first uh, album Nick Menzel was on. Him and Marty Friedman both. Which is a huge step up from uh, So Far, So Good, So What which had um, Jeff Young on guitar and Chuck Beeler on drums. Um, you know, I never got into that album. It's not a bad album at all, but it never really grabbed me like some of the others. Um, I think it's like probably my least favorite, like of their first, you know, few that they did. Um, st it's, it's definitely a solid thrash metal album, but it just, I don't know, it just doesn't really stand out among some of their, um, some of their better efforts. I'm not knocking it though, though. It's, you know, still got some great songs. Um, but yeah, he was doing Rust in Peace and, uh, then <laughs> Countdown to Extinction, uh, Euthanasia, and um, and even Cryptic Writings, which I don't think is so bad as everybody says it is. Um, everybody considers this like um, what the Black Album did for Metallica, uh, you know, Cryptic Writings did for Megadeth. Um, you know, it was kind of like their break to the mainstream. It was a little more commercial sounding, had some radio hits, but I really like it. I don't care. I mean, I think it's still very a very solid um, entry in their discography. I think it's really good. Um, and, you know, Dave Mustaine and Co., you know, he's, Dave Mustaine's been the only constant member, um, and, and usually, uh, David Alefson, um, who finally returned to the band a few years ago, I'm glad he's back, um, they have so many lineup changes, it's been a revolving door lineup, and my favorite, as I said, was definitely the one with Marty Friedman on guitar and, uh, Nick Menz on drums, um, you know, they always had, like, a, a rotating, uh, lead guitarist and drummer, uh, those two spots were always, like, you know, like a revolving door, as I said. Um, and yeah, Nick Mizzo is my favorite um, drummer they ever had. I'm definitely going to be blasting a lot of Megadeth um, and tribute of Nick. Um, he also returned to the band a few times, briefly in 2004, and then again last year, uh, I believe it was, um, but just as a session member. But I was always hoping for a reunion, um, especially one if they got my, Marty Friedman back as well. That would have been excellent. Um, yeah, I was always hoping for a reunion of my favorite Megadeth lineup. That would have been great. Um, you know, after Dave Mustaine was booed from Metallica, he formed Megadeth, and he's had so many different musicians. Um, but this was definitely my favorite lineup out of all the, all the people he worked with. Um, probably um, second favorite, as I said, would probably be, you know, the Chris Poland on lead guitar and uh, Gar Samuelson on, on drums, you know, for the first two albums. And Chris Poland came back briefly, dude. He played on uh, The System Has Failed, I believe it was, uh, which is one of the newer... Slightly newer ones as well. Well, early 2000s. But, um, yeah, I love these four albums. I'm definitely going to be jamming to them a lot lately. Um, I really like Euthanasia. I think Euthanasia is really underrated. Uh, most people would say Rust in Peace, and I agree. I can definitely see why. That probably is their best album, technically. But I find myself listening to Euthanasia a whole, whole lot, too. I just love Reckoning Day and Train of Consequences. Uh, Two of the course. Elysian Fields has a cool little haunting chorus line. And I love that heavy chugging riff on the title track. Um... You know, the riff that opens up, so yeah, yeah, oh man, just so solid. Um, they definitely had a great lineup. They had some great musicians playing these albums, and, you know, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's a damn shame that Nick Menz is no longer with us. Um, we really can't afford to lose any more metal heroes. Um, 
because yeah, he was just a great drummer, um, you know. And he also played on a few of Marty Friedman's solo albums, I believe. I think that those two were good friends. Um, and so, but yeah, I always dreamed of a reunion, and now, unfortunately, it'll never happen. Um, it really is a shame. Really is tragic news. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, what more can I say? We lost another legend. Uh, you know, they just keep. Really, is a sad time for metal because you know some of our favorite, some of our um, idols are you know growing a lot older, and you know, it's just sad. You finally come to the realization that they're realization that they're you know not going to be around forever. But uh, but yeah, rest in peace, Nick Menza, or should I say, rust in peace? <laughs> I don't know. Um, ignore me, I'm silly. But um, yeah, hopefully he's rocking out up there with uh, Jeff Hanneman and Dio and uh, Dimebag and, you know, all the other great uh, metal legends that we've lost. Randy Rhodes, you know, you know jamming up there with the likes of them and then uh, Metal Heaven or, <laughs> you know, hopefully some kind of really rocking afterlife. Um, hopefully. But, uh, all right, guys, well, I just want to share that those sad news. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's already heard. As I said, I, am, I was a little late. Um, I didn't find out until a little later, and, you know, just now. Um, <clears throat> you know, pretty depressing, but, uh, you know, we still got a lot of them left, and, you know, you know, Megadeth's still rocking hard, which is good. I'm glad that uh, David returned on bass not that long ago. Um, you know, hopefully he'll stay with the band. And uh, the lineup they have now is pretty good. Um, I've watched a few live videos. Um, I'd like to catch them uh, in concert sometime soon, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, it's just a shame our reunion never, never happened. But, um, oh, well. Uh, I guess it wasn't meant to be. All right, well, uh, rest in peace, Nick Menza, and uh, keep it metal, everybody.